there guys and welcome to your update video on the 1st of March 2018. This week is a forced map wipe, as will every update be from now on. The first big thing that we have this month is the chainsaw is now here. It is craftable and you need a level 2 workbench. It will cost 250 scrap to research and to craft one you need 5 high quality metal, 2 gears and 6 blades. You have to pull start it and to do that you right click and it has a 40% success rate. It is loud so it will draw attention to you and it is very useful against trees and unarmored players. Hopefully in the future it will also have a use in raiding. If you do currently try and use this against any building blocks or on any stones, you will find that your chainsaw is broken very quickly. We also have another addition this week that you can use and that is the Spass 12. It is an uncraftable shotgun only obtainable from airdrops, the helicopter and Bradley. It does around half the damage of a pump shotgun and fires pretty much as fast as you can click as it is semi-automatic. Along with this new shotgun we have the introduction of incendiary shells. These are craftable, you'll need a level 2 workbench, you need 75 scrap to research them and it costs 5 metal frags, 10 gunpowder and 20 sulfur to make 2 of them. They have bigger projectiles than other shells so it is easier to hit and it causes fires like other incendiary ammo which will slow and do quite a bit of damage. You'll be able to find these so that you can research them in airdrops and military crates. The scientists also this month are now finally live. You'll find them using a SPAS-12 shotgun or an MP5 as their primary weapons. They'll be hanging around in the military tunnels and they will drop med syringes, metal tools, very rarely weapons, among other things. The scientists are also now capable of spawning at vehicle junk piles. However, this is turned off currently by default. Admins can enable these ones if they wish to, and they are less aggressive than the ones found at military tunnels, and they carry M92 pistols. We've also this month got a buff to the nail gun. It will now fire faster than it previously did. And you'll also find that item repairing is now a lot more effective. It now only costs 20% of the item cost rather than 50%. And the saving grace for any starter base or any base in general, grief protection is now live. If your tool cupboard is destroyed when you are being raided, depending on how many resources it holds, it will protect your base for up to 24 hours. This means that you will be less likely to have your entire base destroyed if you get offline raided. The protection does only apply to anything that was part of the building when the tool cupboard was destroyed. The Chinook 47 has also had a lot of work over recent weeks. It is aimed to be released with the next update in April. It is going to use a different system to the current helicopter and it is physically based to give it better physics. It is based off of the current vehicle system which means it is possible for the Chinook to be piloted. However, that will only be able to be done on modded servers. The current helicopter will also eventually be moved over to this system. We've also got a proc gen update this week that should hopefully make the map feel a little more natural. The way that monuments are generated around the map has been updated so that monuments can better integrate with each other and spawn a lot closer. We also have a couple of small things. Two new bushes have been added and they are taller than player models which makes for great cover. The way skins are downloaded has been updated and if one fails it will just skip it. And it makes the whole process in general a lot more efficient. All signs, picture frames and banners are now repairable. The bed is able to be picked up and repaired and players require building privilege to access spotlights. That is all the major updates for this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you hit that like button and if you would like to see more content, make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much guys. Have a good day.